Hey everyone, what's up? It is DJ Unprotected. I hope you had a wonderful 4th of July weekend. Anyway, this video is going to be about using reverb as a blend in order to get your tracks to sound good together. And you can use this type of reverb across all of the tracks within your mix. Um, I like this trick especially because when using samples, sample drum tracks, or other things where they sound really dry on their own um, and just to get a, a natural balance blend of a, an acoustic space for the sounds is really important so let me play you what I've got here so that is with the blend and a size blend reverb together on some of these elements I'm gonna mute them And here it is then with reverb turned back on. Now I'm going to mute the size one because the first thing we're going to, first thing I'm going to show you is the blend reverb. And so without the size on, here's what the blend sounds like. Alright, so let me show you what I've done here. It's really simple. Okay, so as you can see over here, uh, decay is all the way down, and that is the trick with the reverb is to have no decay. What I would do is um, you choose a, any type of algorithm, small space, something small, right? And the other important thing to change here is the pre-delay. I would start anywhere from 10 to 20 milliseconds, and just judge it by taste and um, and then as always you know EQ I always take out the low end because when doing a you know reverb especially with drums if you're adding it onto them you can have some low end buildup and I don't want that because it can obviously muddy up the tracks so I also did a equalizer and took out the top half because when using blend uh, I read about that a lot of you know, professional engineers uh, will take out the top end of a reverb in order for it to kind of sound dark so that way it sits in better with the instruments. Now, if you really want to add a lot of energy to a certain part of your track, maybe a choruses or what have you, then you could, you know, um, not take out so much top end. You could maybe brighten it. But again, it all depends on what you're trying to do with your track. But I really like how this can make... Uh, make the sounds blend together easily okay so what we're gonna do is now I'm gonna turn on the size reverb and this you know adds a little more space to it nothing drastic um, so here it is without and then I'll add it in and here it is in Again, as with the blend one, it it's not drastic. It's one of those situations where less is more. You're not trying to overdo it. I'll show you an example. I'll turn up the snare, uh, send as it's playing, so you can get an idea of uh, how much is actually applied within. Okay, so um, one more reverb trick that you can do is, that, as you can see here, I created a parallel channel for the snare, and I really compressed it. So I did uh, I did some parallel compression, uh, high ratio. Here's what it sounds like by itself. So as you can tell, really squashed. And uh, if you can tell, if you can also hear that there's some reverb in there. And what I did was added a long haul. Um, I kept the reverb the same because it's not going to be too powerful. And, uh, you know, a, a long pre-delay. So anywhere from 50 milliseconds to 60 to 70. 
uh, it's up to you but that really helps give a sound some distance and what this does is if I were to play this along with the snare obviously this is gonna be too much but just have a listen so it, it added a lot of more distance and space to it so what I'm gonna do is we're going to let all the drums play and I'm gonna bring this in to a proper level And it should be just enough so that you miss it. It's not overpowering. So if you mute it, you should kind of notice that it's not there. And then if you bring it in, it shouldn't be too drastic. Remember, when using the blend, um, you know, a short distance with no decay no decay on the signal and somewhere between 10 to 20 milliseconds you can do this in any DAW and um, and then just add to taste and put it on all your drum elements and uh, some of the other basic elements to get them sit within the same space the other trick was to do parallel compression or parallel processing on the snare add a long reverb you know adjust it to taste uh, have a long pre delay and really squash it and then just slowly add it in and then one way you can use this effect really well is during choruses if you want to or a breakdown uh, it's up to you but I hope you've enjoyed this tip I really you know appreciated learning the uh, reverb blend recently as doing mixes so as always you know subscribe for more videos and play it loud have fun peace <laughs>